and while I was teaching, I would always rather that if a kid had a racist opinion, if they had, if they wanted to say something that was that might be regarded as hateful or even extreme, I don't like that word particularly, but if they wanted to air an extreme view, I would always want them to say that in the classroom because it would be the classroom is a safe place where they could we can mediate those views if a kid says something that's that's off. We can discuss it, we can get to the roots of it. And in all my years of teaching, we would always be able to mediate views that might have first seen become out as offensive. But by talking about them, you can you can mediate them and make them better. But prevent shuts down those kind of discussions. It shuts down kids making a racist proclamation, it shuts down kids talking about um, other views that might be perceived to be extreme. And the problem with that is that those conversations that would have happened are how we moderate our extreme views. And that's how schools have the capacity to promote peace. But by shutting down those conversations, they're not able to do that. So that was a safeguarding intervention that was then prevented because those conversations were shut down completely by prevent. So how do they fool themselves? How do people working in prevent fool themselves that prevent is about promoting debate when it is well established that it shuts down debate? You know, when we drop our children off to school, essentially it is the school's responsibility to keep them safe. And we trust that. And there is a parent teacher relationship as well as a student uh, teacher relationship that is so crucial. Their children within the school setting um, during class or during lunchtime or break time have been taken to one side, um, you know, away from their peers and put in front of complete strangers for all intents and purposes. Um, and these strangers I am referring to are prevent officers who are often accompanied with a social worker to question the children, um, you know, following a prevent referral. And the cooker bomb case, um, in case anyone doesn't know, was one where a child um, drew a picture of the uh, mother cutting a cucumber. And when the teachers asked, you know, what is this? And they uh, it's the same cucumber, they said cooker bomb. Uh, and that was a referred to channel and channel refused to take it on after, it, you know, it hit media and went viral, etc. An eight year old who was interrogated not by one counterterrorism officer, but by two counterterrorism officers and a social worker. Um, this was without the consent or knowledge of their parents. He was uh, panicking, to be honest, because uh, I needed to explain that to him because I knew that he would have talks with the social services. He would be questioned without the consent, that he was questioned without the consent, without my consent. There is a legislation out there that allows strangers to speak to your child uh, potentially without your consent. And that, that's, that's the concern that we have. I did not have an idea that he has been um, referred um, due to prevent. Uh, uh, I feel like um, they have been plotting uh, behind my back. Uh, that's how I felt when I found out that it was actually prevent referral. It seems like a very serious offence. Uh, it sounds like a very serious offence and um, I don't know, you automatically um, think the word prevent is like you feel like people automatically assume that you, you done something wrong or your child done something wrong did you at any point feel that that is what you were receiving you were receiving support from the social workers you were receiving support from concerned teachers you were receiving support from this prevent referral absolutely not absolutely not makes many muslim children feel like they are they are being watched, they are being surveilled, they feel threatened. Shocking really to see that they were getting us to spy on our own peers when really, uh, legally, that's not our duty as students. We're just there to learn, we're not there to, you know, um, worry about other people's beliefs and what they're into really. So it's my, my firm belief that prevent makes violence more likely by shutting down that debate that would otherwise mediate our views.